Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the home gym and more specifically, welcome back to the infrared sauna, which is in our master bedroom. Today is the two year updated review on what I'm sitting in, the Sunstream Evolve 15 infrared sauna and a uh, spoiler alert, it is still functioning, <laughs> no defects, nothing has uh, really gone wrong with this. This has been going strong for two years of use, maybe in my wife's opinion, overuse. But I wanna give you some pointers during the course of this updated review video, as well as some things I think they could do a little bit better. But mostly, all in all, I've been very satisfied with this. This initially lived, if you saw the initial review, it initially lived in the middle of the home gym, and then we moved it into the master bedroom. That process took a grand total of maybe taking our time 45 minutes. It was like just disassembling Legos and putting it back together. As a matter of fact, the initial unboxing and trying to figure out what everything was, was probably the most difficult part about putting this together. Actually putting it together and being careful with the glass, of course. It was a very, very simple process. As a matter of fact, Kevin, the owner of Sunstream Saunas, told me that it is one of the easiest, if not the easiest, infrared sauna to assemble. I tend to agree with that from the things I've seen from people that have owned Costco brands and other brands of infrared saunas. They can be a little bit of a challenge to assemble, put together, especially the electrical portion. The electrical portion on this was super easy. You couldn't get it wrong. It was almost in my mind, and this could cause a, a debate. It was Apple-like in a way where it's just it just works. You pl plug it in. There's nothing like building a, a tower PC or a Hackintosh compared to just plugging in the iMac and starting it up, and it works. I would really use that analogy very confidently that that's what it was like both times, assembling it out there for the initial review and then bringing it into the master bedroom and reassembling it very easy. So this is an infrared sauna and especially over the past 18 to 20 months in these uncertain times, infrared sauna therapy has been something that I've been leaning towards, red light therapy as well. And although I don't use the red light therapy, therapy nearly as much, I can still turn on this light, but not for the sake of recording, but there are red lights here, but not as powerful as the red light panel that Sunstream sells. It's in the Evolve series, it's on the wall, you've seen it before, and that has worked extremely well. I have a pair of glasses uh, that work very well, recommended by Kevin, so my eyes don't hurt, but I do feel with consistent use, the penetration of that red light, and also I have some lamps for more direct uh, therapy to my knees, lower back, things like that. Have I used them enough? Admittedly, no. But this here, the infrared sauna, I have used it and I have seen the benefits and felt the benefits of using it. Uh, and there is a point where you can use it too much. Of course, I've crossed that line many times and stay hydrated as, <laughs> as much as possible. And if you're recording YouTube videos, don't make them 30 and 40 minutes long because uh, you'll get dehydrated real quick. So I just want to remind you of the inside of the sauna. It has a bench right here that we can remove, but it also has a front and also floor panels so you can get heat all around. I definitely need to clean these out. Uh, maintenance and cleaning is very easy, but I can get very lazy with this. Uh, of course, the cleaning takes probably maybe 10 minutes. If you stay on top of it, it could take an even shorter amount of time. We also have the glass up here. We have lights. We have a little slot here if you want to create some airflow. Uh, we also have speakers that are Bluetooth as well as you can plug them in if you like. Now, here's one part right here. I wish they would change it maybe with a software update. You can see right there, it's 56 degrees Celsius. Uh, I wish there was a way to convert that over to Fahrenheit for us Americans who refuse to go to the metric system. But I wish they would um, have the option to switch or do other things uh, with, with that panel. But it's very basic, it works, and I really do like it. It comes with a remote control that you just saw when I turned on the lights. You also have many different colors that you can do with these uh, colored lights up top. Very nice, we also have a little aromatherapy. As we come around here, as I try not to touch the panel, we have benches right here to keep us from touching those panels. Now, this is a very important part right here. If you don't wanna short out the electrical panel or the electricity or the wires, 
it all lives under this bench, which is removable. So if you need to switch it out, you can do that. But I do recommend you put a thick towel. So that way, someone like me who sweats all the time, uh, you're not going to short that out. And trust me, uh, after a while, it will probably is as, as shielded as the wires are and everything else. Or you just forget to clean it out and you don't keep up with it. But the towel really eliminates that. You just pick the towel up and do that. I did a few sessions without, but it still kept its colors. A little bit of um, uh, darkening of the wood. That was my fault. Uh, but it's held up very well over two years. Even the back part here, these uh, back bench parts, they're dark because of sweat, but they're not splintered. Uh, there's no degradation of the materials that I can see after two years. So like I said earlier in the video, you don't want to make these 20, 30, 40 minute long videos within the sauna because obviously the phone's going to overheat, your DSLR is going to overheat. Uh, we didn't even bring in wireless microphones because they could short out. I just want to make sure we get the content. I can try to clean up the audio in the video a little bit. I'm just using the front facing camera on my iPhone. but. I'm very satisfied with the Sunstream Evolve 15 after two years of use. Well, one note too, the reason why I chose the 15 is because you can use a standard electrical outlet. No electrician had to come into my apartment, which really you can't get a box wired and all that stuff. It's just not very practical in an apartment, but you can use your basic outlet, which we have right here behind the camera plug it in, you're ready to go. Technically, it's a two-person, uh, but my wife claims that she can't fit in here with me. I, I could do this, and I, I can welcome the company. I want her in here with me, but it's technically a two-person, but I'm 6'2", around 210. It can be pretty tight, or it won't work for two people of the same size, so that's another little thing, but there's plenty of models. I use the Goldilocks uh, type analogy. I feel like the 15 is the top of the regular kind of plug-in outlet type of infrared saunas in the, in the Sunstream lineup and even other brands. I feel like this is the top of that heap. And then when you go above that, we're gonna have to do extra work, but obviously you're gonna get more room, more things, but also draw more power, more costs with electrician coming in and wiring it and putting up a, a dedicated box because it uses up more amps than the standard one with the 15. Uh, so you have to weigh that. For me, this is a, almost a portable sauna. And speaking of which, another reason why I did this review video, not only for the two-year update to let you know it's still working, but also I got a very unique type of sauna, a tent sauna with a wood stove from a Russian company that we thought we were gonna be able to record the uh, review footage when we were up in the mountains, but we could not find level enough land that I was confident putting a wood stove with a fire. Uh, so safety first. Uh, we do plan on doing it. I might do an unboxing video or a short demo and then dedicate the entire video when we go to a campsite, a cabin, or a remote location where I can safely upload that video. But I'm pretty impressed with that. And those are two different types of products. This is not portable in the same way as that. I just mean, if you want to move with this, it's a very simple process to disassemble and move it. All you have to do is get some thick moving blankets and other things to cover these windows and even transport the windows separately. And you should have no problem wherever you get to go if you're moving or going to a different space or different room. Very, very easy. I'm very impressed after two years with this infrared sauna. And if you decided you wanna pull the trigger on this, please use my affiliate link in the description below. Also, I will put Kevin's phone number and his email. He's very responsive to customers. Uh, check it out, uh, use that, use the other affiliate links and codes, support the content on this channel. I'm very thankful for all the support from each and every one of you. Most importantly, outside of all this, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.